Apparently, you, you wanted here? to see me. No. No, it, I'm just apparently. That's all I could think of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm just wondering what the. Why are these animals here, and why are they just shooting cars at us? That's just how life works, man. Sometimes, it, see, he even says his name. Okay, like birdie. Yeah, didn't expect that, but you know how else would? How do you think cards are made, Mario? Printers. Uh, oh, character, animals. Character artists. Freshly squeezed animal. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh cards are made. You know, I've heard some people talking about, oh, magically cards appear in front of you sometimes. <laughs> like that ever happens. I mean, depends what kind of animal. I mean, I suppose a mosquito could fly in front of you and then produce a card, and that would seem pretty magical because you're not going to notice the mosquito. Cards are not made from animals. Well, that, Anything, that they're seems... They're made from trees, actually, the cardboard. Well, it seems to be the case so far. Or else, where are these animals getting these cards from? I'm just hoping that there's not some random collector who has these guys as pets and they're just stealing from his collection. I hope there's not some random guy just finding random animals and stuffing them with Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That too. Animals. I mean, to be fair, it's only anyway. been a few animals so far. Oh. Yeah, that's true. You, So you're going shopping too, huh? Oh, yeah. Hmm. What are you getting? I think I know what I'm getting, but what are you getting? I'm yeah. getting some harpy cards. Why is that? I I built a harpy deck. Oh, that's unique. Very creative. You built um, one too. Did you yes, built I, one too, I didn't you? Yes, I did, and it needs some adjustments. Cause there was some uh, like I draw, I drew, I I dueled with this before, and I drew a lot of harpy sisters. Yeah, I don't run Harpy Sisters because it's kind of like a dead card if you draw into it. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. I You're taking so. it out right now, aren't you? Yeah, I sure am. I sure am. Okay, so I already got the card. Oh, I actually got some spare Harpy cards here. Oh, well. Oh, nice. Didn't realize I had three uh, of those. Let's see. I think it was I think it was this one I needed. Okay. Hopefully this is... Please tell me it, it's in here. Okay. It does. Awesome. What's better, Harpy Later 1, 2, or 3? Hmm. What do you think? Uh, for what? For a Harpy deck. Uh, mm -hmm. which one's better? Is that why you're asking? Yeah, I'm just thinking of getting another monster, because I was a little shy on the monsters before. Maybe I'll just get a Harpist instead. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of those Harpist that, Harpy Lady cards that I think that have different effects. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. But I guess this still only makes it even on the monsters. I can see why. Well, actually, no, I just took some of those out. So maybe I need one more Harpy card. Hmm. Let's see. I can afford one more Harpy card as well. How, how are you liking your deck so far? It actually performed well when I was using it. I actually had to hold back a bit so I wouldn't completely ditch completely destroy someone oh wow who are you holding back against uh this guy named mitch uh well, that makes sense that makes sense mm-hmm but Let's... the deck was cons super consistent though awesome yeah mine was less than consistent I'm not gonna lie i mean do we want to test it kind of do want to test it let's see but do we want to put anything up for Grabs. I mean that star tournament's going on. Ah, I saw those stars. I saw those. What? Yeah. These? Oh, is that just credits? It's hard to tell the difference. Yeah, it really is. These are my stars. Ah, see, literally look the same to me. But yep. I would be willing to put one of the stars on the line so we can get another step closer or further away to the star tournament. What do you think? Eh, I guess. What's your star count right now? I'm at three stars. I'm at two at the moment. Ooh. All right, so losing won't knock either of us out of the tournament, but winning will get me Put almost me there. Close. Yeah. All right. Oh, good. They changed. They cleaned up the board and stuff up there. That's good. All right. Yeah. So, Might have been too many complaints. Yeah, I can imagine some of the uh, you know parents would be a little upset about their children going By to the way, school is like this, this. Is this incorrectly put down? Yes, it certainly is. Okay, okay, so I'll stand here 
And you know, let's use this one so we don't have to stand on the edge there. I'll stand here, and you stand. We're still. There. I'm still standing on the edge here. Uh, well, okay. We'll do a, a, like an angle. No, there's really no way to. Um. You know what? Just deal with it. Just deal with it. It's all sideways and stuff. Okay, that's fine. So, ready to duel? Yeah. All right, let's duel. All right. Ooh, similar that's tails. Counts. I'll take tails. Ah, Oof. tail feathers. It is. I'll go. Second. All right. Hmm. You know, I'm glad I'm going second, but I'm also astonished at my hand due to the changes in my deck. Yeah, kind of same. All right. So I'm going to summon RP Lady One. Okay. And set this card down and I'll end she's currently sitting at 1600 attack points because of her effect yes she is all right I will draw my card then oh thank goodness oh okay so let's see what I can do here hmm that's not necessary in fact I should probably take that card out I am going to let's see yeah I guess I'll match you I'll summon an attack mode Harpy Lady. Mmm. And since she's a wind monster. Yeah, we're all tied up. Yeah, attacking you probably wouldn't be the best idea until one of us draws something better. Mm hmm. But I guess I'll set one more card and I'll end my turn. Alright. Well, at least you made it worth it. I'll play my Harpy's Feather Duster. Ah, no. There goes my cards. Ah. Solemn, that was actually a good card to mm -hmm. do this on. Got that from a parrot. I'll s and I'll summon Harpy Lady 2. Oh boy. That's probably a worthy card. And I'll also play. Now. That's not even a Cyber Shield. Now. Okay. On my Harpy Lady 1. And you know what? Let's make it a matching set. Let's have both of them equipped. Oh dear. So uh, right not... now they're both sitting at 2100. Yes, they are. Good little stack. I'll have Harpy Lady 1 attack its clone. Or it's original, right. I just say. Then I'll lose 800. Oh, wait, no, it's not 800. No. It's 500. Yeah, 500. And right. you take 21 from Harpy Lady 2. Ooh, not the best start for me. Is that it? Uh, did you take away 100? Yes, I did. You did, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I end. All right, I draw. Hmm, this will have to do... Let's see. I will use Regeki. Ah, uh, of course. To clear your harpies from the field. You made it worth it for me as well. However, I took a bit of a hit to make that happen. Were you sitting on that turn one, or? Yes, I was. Let's see what I can do now. I think... Yeah. I'll summon the harpy channeler in attack mode. Not anything super strong, but, hmm, yeah, I can't exactly use its effect, but I need to start attacking you. So, Harpy Chandler, attack his life points directly for 1,400. Right. Yeah, 1,400. All right, you're still in the lead, but oh. not bad. Oh, <laughs> a little overboard there. Yeah, no, there I was trying go. to go up, but it seems like the uh, little thing is being a little slow for me. Well, we're standing sideways. It's not that easy. All right, is it my turn? Yes, it is. Your move. My draw. <laughs> I summon my harpy channel. Oh boy, the mirror moves we got it going on out here. Yeah, I'll end. Okay, come on, just draw a harpy so I can get the big one out. That'll do it. Now, since you're another harpy player, I had a question about this that I was wondering. Using the harpy mm -hmm. channeler. If I um, use its effect and discard a Harpy card, a Harpy monster would count as the Harpy's pet dragon, right? Actually, yes, it does. That's what I was thinking. So, I think it would be worth using my effect, because it specifically labels the dragon in this card. So, I'm mm -hmm. going to activate the effect of Harpy Channeler. Sacrificing my Cyber Harpy Lady, one of the better attack ones, unfortunately, I will bring the cyber um, or the harpy's pet dragon from my deck 
So that means go search for that. I will put that onto the field and then promptly. Yeah, it has to be in my defense deck. mode. Ah, very good. Did not read that part. Oh, and well, still unfortunately, you do have one. He does not get his power up, though. Because Ch Harpy Channeler does not count as a Harpy card. No, it does Harpy not. Harpy Lady card. It usually oh, we know it does. Oh, it does. Oh, we know it does. At the bottom. Yes, it does. Very. <laughs> it's a long effect. All right. So what do we do here? If you draw another one, you could do the same thing. So I think it's time for me to make a jump here. I activate Monster Reborn. And with that, let's see. Is there any card you had that I might want to bring out? You just uh, had the better hand at the start. That's unfortunate. It was all spells and traps, but fortunately, that's actually what I needed. So I'll play my Cyber, Cyber Harpy Lady. Now, Cyber Harpy Lady can destroy your Harpy Channeler, dealing you 400 life points. Yep. And Harpy Channeler can attack directly. Yep. All right. Next turn. Oh wait. Oops. Pet Dragon will come out to play. Mm-hmm. All right. My draw. Hmm. I'll set this card down and I'll end. Mm, defensive. All right. Looks like I'm probably in the clear. I draw. Huh. I'm gonna hold on to that for now in case some tragedies do come out. I'll have something to back myself up with. I'll switch so Harper's Pet Dragon. Most that card is starting, currently sitting at 26, right? Yes, it is. Boosted up by the two Harpy Lady monsters. So, I think... Huh, if I attack with Chandler, I could probably end this right here. But I know for a fact a standard Harpy Lady is going to be strong enough to defend against that. So, I'm just going to attack you with the Harpy's Pet Dragon. Alright. I'll destroy Ooh. your Harpy's Pet Dragon. All right. Well, at least I attacked with him first. All right. Cyber Harpy Lady and Chandler attack directly. For Dealing... 32. Yes. All right. Still definitely worth it for you to get rid of the pet dragon. Mm -hmm. I will end my turn. All right. My draw. What do you got? Hmm. Is that going to be the end of this duel? Uh, fortunately, I kind of wish I drew a different monster. Not going to lie. I drew the weakest Harpy card. Harpy ah, Dancer. Harpy Dancer. Yeah. I may, I've may. i been thinking about taking her out because she isn't really that useful at all. Yeah, if you had a better field, it could be useful. But when you're already in a I tough mean, spot, it's rare. Yeah. I can see that. All right. Well, is that all? Yeah, that's all I can do. Alright, I draw. And... Oh, fantastic, I drew Harpy Lady. If I didn't cool. overextend on my first round and just kept, yeah, kept my hand... I think so. I, I would have made the difference. Been in a much better position. Well, I suppose Harpy Chandler, destroy the dancer. But of course, uh, people have more than one uh, Raikeki they're running in all their decks. So you know some people that run more than one? No, no, I mean, like, people have more than one copy of Red Kiki to put in all their decks. <laughs> oh, true. I like to switch cards in and out between my decks. I actually don't have one in my uh, main deck at the moment. Um, but Cyber Harpy yeah, Lady attacked directly, yeah. Let me see. What was my next card? <laughs> of course. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been useful to have oh, next turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this was all uh, there was. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, no. I mean, I would have gone Cyber Harpy Lady next. Mm, Could have started matching things up. Uh, well, I mean, maybe a uh, Harpy versus Harpy is not the funnest. Maybe you want to make sense. it the best two out of three. Sure, with Harpies or what? Um, I mean, we could switch up decks. We could use our other decks. I won't uh, run Exodia you against you. I don't know. I run my dragons. You run your warriors. In the second round of this best two out of three. Yeah, sure. Because I have made some adjustments to my dragon deck that I haven't quite done yet. Yeah, now that you've mentioned that, I'm thinking about throwing Raigeki in there. But nah, it's fine without. Hmm. All right. That'd be the smart thing to do, but, you know, I'm already one duel up, so I'm confident. Hopefully. The dragon deck is my <laughs> biggest loss rate deck. 
but we'll see. Yeah, I'm just throwing in some cards I've been needing to toss in there and take out. Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. Unless you want to use your harpy cards. Eh, I'll be honest. Right now, they don't sound that appealing to use against it right now. Especially what what just happened. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Fair enough. Yeah, I feel like the harpies... They just have such a vulnerability to just not really draw any of the cards you need. It seems like that for me so far. Mm-hmm. That's just not drawing the right monsters is the problem. Because, like, even this duel, I, my opening hand had no monsters in it. If I hadn't drawn something, I would have been gone quick. Yeah. All right, I think my deck is ready. All right, got my dragon deck right here. It's time to duel. All right. All right. Ooh, and I threw some uh, support in there. I threw tails. I suppose tails yet again. Ah. Oh. So I'll take the second move this time. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting hand. Mm. Oh wow. Same with mine. All right. Well. Let's see what I want to do. I'll summon a nice powerful dragon to start things off. The Luster Dragon in attack mode. Hmm. And I'll end my turn. Alright. My draw. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this card down along with this card down and I'll end. Oh, that makes my next move a little risky. All right, I draw. Hmm. All right, I activate Soul Exchange. So now I can tribute your monster, as well as my Luster Dragon, to bring out my power card, the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and whoo! Glad I didn't attack into that with a blue eyes white dragon. Mm hmm. All so I right. guess I'll be taking uh, 3,000 to the face right now? Yeah, I attack with the blue eyes white dragon. Alright. Actually, I could have done a little something else there, but I didn't think of it, so. Yeah, I end my turn there. Alright, I draw. Hmm. No, I'm gonna make sure that thing dies. I'm playing uh, mm. Fissure. Very well. I could have done something more to maximize damage, but it would have done worse to me in the end. Ah. Uh, so, I'll normal summon my Breaker, the Magical Warrior. Okay. Uh, when he's normal summoned, I get to place one spell counter on him, increasing his attack points by 300. Excellent. So, I attack you directly with 1900 attack. Ow. Okay. Not bad. Is that all you got? That's all I got for now. Alright. I have a play this turn, but it's risky. I draw. Huh. So I could tie that thing out. Or... I could... Summon Cyberstein in attack mode. And I activate his effect. Paying 5,000 life points. To bring out my most powerful monster. He doesn't go to the grave himself. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Actually, that's not nice at all. Sorry. Let's see what I can do here. So, I did actually not know that. So that changes things. What do I want to bring out? Let's see. Hmm. This might be the safest play. I'll bring out... Oh, now that must be special. Yeah. I guess that leaves one option. The Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Oof. And actually, I'm kind of terrified of you summoning another monster that'll kill Cyberstein as well as my life points, because all you would need is 1800 for that. So I'm going to play everything I have, and if it fails here, I will fail miserably, and if it succeeds, I will succeed greatly. I play the Change of Heart, taking your break to my you side won. of the field. <sighs> Uh, wow, that was a risky, to... risky play by me, but it ended up being lucky. Uh, Cyberstein attack, and now Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Ultimate White Lightning. Woo. You are one of the luckiest people I've ever met. I will admit that. 
Hey. It happens. <sighs> I haven't I used Cyberstein before. That was be... spooky. Uh, look at what I had in my hand for next turn. What'd you have? Oh, no! Ooh. If you did not have that change of heart, I would have survived for the next turn. And completely whopped the Cyberstein. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Cyberstein's actually a really risky card to play now that I'm thinking about it. Huh. It's even riskier than I intended, because with so little life I've... attack points. Uh, nice. That card is too broken. It's powerful, but a risk. It's interesting. I feel like, I, I on purpose, I felt at your field with the blue eyes white dragon. I was hoping that you didn't have any traps that would stop me. I was kind of hoping you would activate one to just make me feel a little bit better about it. And then he pulled out the fissure, and I was like, ooh, maybe he was just saving whatever, whatever else he has. First but, you had the change of... The exchange of spirits, then you also had change of heart at the right perfect time. Yeah, both of those were in my opening hand. I was thinking of even letting you get to two monsters and doing something I've never done before, using a change of heart and a soul exchange in the same turn, which could then summon my blue eyes white dragon. That'd be mean. Actually, that wouldn't have made sense because then the exchange of heart could have done it from either side. You then you potentially three tributes. Well, if I didn't have a monster, is what I'm saying. I'm assuming if you had two monsters yeah. on the field, I would have lost a monster. Hmm. And it wasn't even that my deck was bad. It's just that you had the perfect hand. It was a pretty good hand. So. I guess hmm. that means I get your uh, star chip. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, need to make a mental note for myself. <laughs> oh, no. Don't duel you, apparently. Because <laughs> against you... You have to. You're the luckiest person I've ever met. Yeah, you know. Some call it I mean, plot armor. Perf then that's cheating. Plot armor is outlawed in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. That was. That was your I want words, my star chip mine. back then. I want anyway. my star chip back then. If if don't make me have to, uh, report you to the authorities. Look, it was a joke. It was a joke. Um, I don't have plot armor. Get get away, bye.